Good evening and welcome to the service of Compline or Night Prayer. My name is Karen. I'm one of the priests at St. Paul's Bloor Street. This is Loki and uh, it is good to have you joining me this evening. Compline is a quiet contemplative service about 15 minutes long meant to end the day in peace and rest and stillness. If you'd like to follow along with the order of service you can find it in the video description and otherwise you can simply pray along with me silently and that is just fine. We celebrated the Feast of Pentecost on Sunday, in which the Holy Spirit, we, we remember and uh, celebrate the Holy Spirit coming down uh, to the disciples in Acts chapter 2. And so we will have a reading that is related to that this week. And other than that, all is the same as usual. So let's still our hearts and calm our souls and enter in the, into the presence of our loving God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We hear your voice, O Lord Jesus, saying, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. We come into your presence, weary and burdened with our sins, and with the cares and distractions of the world. Let us rest a while in your sacred presence. Let our hearts find rest here. Let nothing separate us from you here in this world or in the world to come. Amen. And now in this time of silence, I invite you to think through the past day or the past week with everything that it's held, both the good and the bad, and lift all of that up to our loving God. And now praying together, O merciful Jesus, ever present and with a heart ready to receive all who come to you weary and heavy laden, give us a spirit of sincere repentance, a strong hope in your mercy, and a lasting desire to grow in virtue and to walk in your way. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. For the Compline hymn, we will use the traditional Compline hymn and use the traditional language of the traditional Compline hymn, so uh, spoken in kind of older English. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that thou with wa that, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. For our psalm this evening, we're using Psalm 91, reading Psalm 91 which is a traditional Compline psalm, Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, Neither shall any plague come near your tent, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, 
the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honor. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As I mentioned at the beginning, on Sunday was Pentecost, and Bishop Jenny spoke uh, about that. Um, and she also referenced a passage from Genesis uh, in which the earth was scattered, uh, the languages um, were divided. And so I'm going to read that passage for us this evening, and that is from Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole, whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, Look, they are one people, and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do now will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the, all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because the Lord there confused the languages language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So Pentecost, uh, in Pentecost, of course, the Holy Spirit comes down and people hear their own languages spoken. And so the division that happened in the story of Babel is kind of reversed. And so that is why it is one of the readings for Pentecost is that um, there is common understanding again. And you see how in this story, in the story of Babel, sin and pride divided people ended up, and that was the result of it, is that people ended up being divided and not understanding each other and not knowing each other. And in Pentecost, uh, we have the unification again, not, not um, destroying diversity, um, but, but celebrating diversity and allowing uh, it to bless everybody because they could understand each other. So that is for Pentecost. This coming Sunday is Trinity Sunday, so I invite you to join in at St. Paul's for that and next week as we celebrate. And now moving on to the responsories. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. For our prayers this evening, we'll do as we did last week. We're going to do a litany of intercession in the night, and this is taken from St. Augustine's prayer book. 
a litany, of a litany of intercession in the night, from page 59. O God, our Father, for the sake of the infinite love that burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, we plead for all tonight who stand most in need of your merciful love and protection. On all without home and shelter this night, have mercy. On refugees and those whose homes are destroyed in war, have mercy. On children abandoned or disowned by their families, have mercy. On all in mental anguish, have mercy. On those caught in addiction and destructive habits, have mercy. On the hungry, the cold and the frightened, have mercy. By your cross and passion, save them, Jesus. Those who are out to rescue and protect, strengthen by your love. For those who work through the night hours, have mercy. For police and first responders in crisis, have mercy. For those in transportation, have mercy. For journalists, have mercy. For those who clean and repair buildings or infrastructure, have mercy. For doctors and nurses, have mercy. For all whose work sustains our community, have mercy. By your night spent watching in prayer, save them, Jesus. Those who work or watch or weep this night, sustain with your presence. To the sick and suffering, and all in agony of body or mind, especially those we name now silently or aloud. Give your comfort and peace. To parents watching with sleepless children, to caregivers tending the elderly, to all who stand and watch over others this night. Give your patience and steadfastness. For the sleepless and the lonely be near them. For those in anxiety or mental distress, calm them. For those who this night will suffer bereavement, visit and sustain them. To those who will die this night, give hope, and in your mercy receive their souls. On those dying suddenly and unprepared, have mercy. On those dying without hope or faith, have mercy. On those dying alone, have mercy. To the faithful departed and for whom any for whom no one prays, Grant your light and peace. To us sinners now and in the hour of our death, grant pardon of sins, renewal of faith, quickening of love, and a reasonable and holy hope in you. By your holy death, deliver us, Jesus. By your glorious resurrection, save us and bring us to all the joys of paradise. Blessed, praised, and adored be our Lord Jesus Christ on his throne of glory, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, and in the hearts of his faithful people. Of his great mercy may he guide, protect, and support us this night and evermore. Amen. And now praying together uh, in the collect. We collect all our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now praying together, and I invite you to pray in the language that is most comfortable uh, for you, whether that is English or another language. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Christ, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this night and always. Amen. Have a wonderful week and hopefully I will see you Sunday. On Sunday I will be preaching. It'll be Trinity Sunday. We're also going to be launching our refugee appeal for our next refugee family that we want to sponsor and so it'll be a good day. There's a presentation after both services and it would be great if you could join us there and if not then I will see you next week in Compline. Take care.